assalamu alaikum students we are um, discussing today about synthesis of triglyceride i hope all of you have uh, read the struct chemical reactions which are required for the synthesis of triglyceride which is an store fat fatty acids which are synthesized in the human body itself or derive from the dietary fat are first esterified with cholesterol and that cholesterol derived from cholesterol 3 phosphate remember i said that three fatty acids which esterified with cholesterol so that they can synthesize triacyl cholesterol and the basic component and building block of tri uh, tri cholesteride is the cholesterol which is deriving from where from cholesterol 3 phosphate now this cholesterol 3 phosphate mostly derived from dihydroxyacetone phosphate it is derived from dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is an intermediate in glycolysis pathway it can also be produced from cholesterol which release during lipolysis that is hydrolysis of triglyceride so there are two steps which are basically responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol 3 phosphate the first step in which dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is driving from which is driving from um glycolysis pathway it will react or in the presence of nadh2 it will be converted into glycerol 3 phosphate so this type of synthesis of glycerol 3 phosphate as it is uh, synthesizing from other moiety which is other than lipid so we can term this formation as glyceronegenesis just like uh, gluconeogenesis if glucose is derived from carbohydrate moiety then we use the term glu- uh, glucogenesis but if it is deriving from lipids and uh, any other component which is other than carbohydrate then we use it as gluconeogenesis so similarly for uh, glycerol synthesis or glycerol 3 phosphate synthesis if it is deriving from dihydroxyacetone we use the term glycerol neogenesis the second way by which glycerol 3 phosphate is synthesized is basically the lipolysis of a uh, lipid molecule or triglyceride which are liberating cholesterol and that cholesterol will react with atp to synthesize glycerol 3 phosphate as well as release adp the enzyme which is involved in this reaction is glycerokinase while in the first step the enzyme which is involved is glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase remember this enzyme that is glycerokinase which is basically involved in the synthesis of glycerol 3 phosphate by the uh, lipid or lipid breakdown pathway it is present in lactating gra- glands heart liver and kidney but it is absent in adipose tissues as well as in the muscles therefore muscles and adipose tissues cannot convert the glycerol which is liberated in these tissues into glycerol 3 phosphate to glycerol 3 phosphate which is the basic component required for the synthesis of triglyceride so uh, these tissues depends on glycolysis process for the supply of glycerol 3 phosphate 
because they cannot synthesize it will be transported means glycerol 3 phosphate will be transported into the adipose tissues as well as in the muscle from uh, the carrier proteins uh, but these tissues cannot synthesize glycerol 3 phosphate whatever glycerol is synthesized or liberated during the lipolysis it will first go into where into the liver into the heart into the kidney where it is converted into glycerol 3 phosphate and then it will be transported into adipose tissues and muscle where glycerol 3 phosphate can react with 3 fatty acid or in other words fatty acids are esterified to synthesize glycer uh, triglyceride components is it clear i hope so um, now come to the other steps which are involved in the uh, synthesis of triglyceride because these two steps are basically helping you to understand that how glycerol 3 phosphates are synthesized once a glycerol is synthesized now there are four different steps which are involved in the synthesis of triglyceride the first step is the which is catalyzed by conversion of fatty acid to their coenzyme a derivative this is catalyzed by acyl coa synthetase so what will happen in this step fatty acid with coa in the presence of atp will synthesize fatty acyl coa and the other components and the second step formation of phosphatidic acid <coughs> take place phosphatidic acid it is a complex lipid which we have already discussed this take place by the reaction between glycerol 3 phosphate and two molecules of coenzyme derivative of fatty acid it is catalyzed by acyl transferase the two fatty acid may be the same or may be the different remember we are discussing the second step that is formation of phosphatidic acid so how it will take place glycerol 3 phosphate which is already synthesized and fatty acyl coa which is synthesized in the first step both they react how two fatty acyl coa component will react with the glycerol 3 phosphate and a co ash molecule not a uh, two co ash molecule are liberating during this reaction and the final end product which is synthesized is phosphatidic acid now come to the third step in the third step conversion of phosphatidic acid to diacyl glycerol will take place this reaction is catalyzed by a enzyme phosphatase phosphatidic acid in the presence of water and phosphatase enzyme it is converted into diacyl glycerol and the component which is liberated is h3po4 now the final step will arise in which conversion of diacyl glycerol to triglyceride uh, glycerol will take place by the addition of an other fatty acid or fatty acyl coa diacyl glycerol will react with fatty acyl coa keep remember phosphatidic acid is synthesized by the reaction of glycerol 3 phosphate as well as two fatty acyl coa while or uh, you people already know that triglyceride is it is the component of a store fat which is comprising of one cholesterol molecule which is uh, containing three fatty acid so two fatty acids are incorporated in the second step while in the final step diacyl glycerol is converted into 
triacyl glycerol by addition of another fatty acid so by this way uh, diacyl glycerol plus fatty acyl coa one more will synthesize triacyl glycerol and a coa molecule so it has already been seen that fatty acids are formed from fatty acyl which is produced from metabolism of carbohydrate and amino acid the other component of triacyl glycerol that is glycerol has already been seen to be formed from dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is an intermediate compound in the glycolysis so in this way we can uh, say that tri glycerides can be readily synthesized in the human body in total absence of dietary fat for this reason a man can live on fat free diet provided he ingest the nutritionally essential fatty acids and fat soluble vitamin for which dietary lipids act as carriers thank you so much so we have completed today uh, this com- uh, synthesis of triglyceride in the next uh, lecture i will let you know about some other topic uh, maybe relating with the metabolism of fatty acids thank you so much